What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. So today I wanna to talk to you about the very best sales advice that I ever received. So I got in real estate when I was 20 years old. It was 2002 and I was just very, very young. I had just gotten out of doing roofing with my father. Actually, I was still roofing with my father because when I got my real estate license, I thought, I'm done with that. I'm done roofing. Now I'm just gonna do real estate. So I quit roofing. Uh, I did real estate for 30 days, didn't sell anything, of course, and had to go back to roofing and do real estate part-time. So it took me eight months, eight long months to make my first sale. And as a 20-year-old, you know, eight months is a really long time, especially when you really want something. I mean, think about it, eight months as a 20-year-old wanting to not be roofing and, and instead to sell real estate for a living. It was a dream at that point. It was something that I really, there was not a plan B, there was not a second option. I was going to make it work, but at the same time, the pace that I was moving towards that goal at was so slow that it almost seemed impossible. I mean, it really did. I knew that it was gonna happen, but it still seemed so far away during that eight months. I just was like, when is this gonna happen? When is this gonna break through? But I knew that I wasn't gonna stop. I knew that it was gonna be a lot of hard work and I knew that I was gonna continue to push through until I made it happen. So that's what I did. I continued to push through. So. My first broker uh, in Gulf Shores, Alabama, uh, you know, I was the kind of guy, I was trying to be a sponge. I was just trying to learn from anyone that would tell me anything. I talked to all the agents at the office asking questions, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? What to say here? What to do here? How did you do that? And, you know, some of the agents would come in with really big listings. To me back then, you know, 350,000 was a big listing. And uh, agents would come in with four and five hundred thousand dollar listings, and I would ask them, you know, how did you get? How in the world did you do that? You know, it just seemed so crazy to me at the time because I was just pounding away, um, and just nothing was happening for me. So I had to just keep on going, keep on trying to figure it out. So. At some point, I realized that I could look up people's phone numbers and start calling people. Okay, and I started, I, I, I turned into a phone call making machine. We actually called it Phone Call Festivals. Yeah, I actually made the name Phone Call Fest, where me and maybe two or three other agents in the office that were also newer, we would get together in this room, like a boiler room kind of situation, and we would just make calls all day. Called it a phone call fest, you know, it made it sound fun. We'd get in there, we'd make the calls, we'd laugh. I remember the first time I used the line whenever a seller told me that they would never sell, that they were just gonna just keep it forever, they were gonna die there, I forget what they said, but I responded and, and I said, okay, you're just gonna keep it till the building crumbles. And I remember that everybody in that room laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. We had a lot of good times uh, back then, just laughing, cutting up, having fun. And that's what it's supposed to be like. It's supposed to be fun when we do this. But the best advice that I ever got was from my broker, because um, he saw that I was putting in all this work and he saw that I was really trying. And I went through these periods of time that I, I just became very just not, I was just, you know, frustrated, I guess you could say. I just wasn't, you know, I wasn't all the way in it, you know. I was just kind of, not depressed, but I was just feeling down, you know, just, just wondering why I can't, you know, do all these sales that all these other agents are doing in the office. And my broker saw that I was a very hard worker and that I was moving in the right direction and he came to me and he gave me the best advice that I've ever gotten and I still think about it to this day. And so he sat me down, we had a long conversation and he was asking me about, you know, what I was doing, where I think I was having trouble and, you know, what what he could do to help me. And at some point in the conversation, I told him that, you know, just Everybody's telling me no. Everybody's telling me no, 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 no. And I'll tell you why I think everyone was telling me no here in a minute, but 
that's when he looked at me square in the eye and he said, you know what, Ricky, and here's the advice. He said, no doesn't mean no. It means not right now. No doesn't mean no. It means not right now. And it was like a light bulb went off in my head. And I was like, wait a minute. You know, all these people that are telling me no aren't necessarily telling me no. They're just saying that they're not interested right now in doing anything. And so as I started to think back through all my conversations with prospects and how they said no and all this and all that, I started to also realize that the reason that they were telling me no or they tried to get off the phone really quickly or, or what have you wasn't because they may not have been interested in doing a deal. Heck, they might have been interested in doing a deal right then. It was the fact that my inexperience and my lack of communication skills up to that point didn't put me in a position where I could make them feel comfortable with me and connect with them and communicate that I'm here to help you. You know, what can I do to help you? And so that was the very first step for me um, towards the relationships over transactions mentality that I have now um, that's got me where I am. That was, that was the first moment where, when I realized, um, you know, something about relationships. Now, as the story goes on, of course, you know, my rise and fall happened, and the fall was because I was focused more on the deal. So I wasn't 100% all in with the people, the relationships, what can I do to help you? It was more about, you know, do you want to buy or sell? And during that time in the market, it was so easy. You just say, hey, do you want to sell? Because your property's worth a hundred more thousand than it was last year. And so it was very easy. Everybody wanted to sell. So the scripts back then were totally different and you could get away with it because everybody stood to make 50, 100, 150, 200,000, 400,000, you know? So there was so much equity that, that, that was built up so fast during that period of time that you didn't really have to twist anybody's arm, you know, to sell the property to make so much money. So that's kind of how I got caught into that, you know, transactions, closings, you know, let's just do the deal. Do you want to buy? Do you want to sell? And that ended up being the downfall for me because I was so caught up in the deals and I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that there was a real human on the other side that that I could create a relationship with that would turn into repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. So when I lost everything and came back, you guys know the story, I came back and built my business on people, not deals. And now I'm to the point where I am now where I can continuously, consistently do those 100 deals a year as a single agent. Now, when I came back um, after working on the oil rig and roofing houses, losing everything, came back in the business in 2008, that's really when I started to realize what my broker was telling me about that when a prospect tells you no, it doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. And if you have that mentality when you're talking to your prospects and you realize you know, that there's a possibility that this person could do business with you in the future, they may want to do business with you in the future, they may love you, they may really like you, they may really want to get to know you more, to see if there's even a fit to do business in the future, they're just not ready right now to do anything. When you look at it like that, then so many doors open up when you're making your calls, you're going through your business and you're following up and you just, you're thinking more about the people and what you could do to help them and, and how everything's gonna play out long term. Now I did get a comment on the Facebook group, there was a post actually of a young lady who said, you know, I'm making all these calls, I'm spending money on, on the dialer and all this and you know, I have people that tell me that they wanna do something in a couple years, but how does that pay my bills right now? And so I'm gonna link a video below that I did about closed deals now. Okay, so you can go there and watch that. But the moral of the story is, is that number one, I don't think this agent has made enough calls to even collect enough data to judge the situation, number one. But number two, you have to understand what I'm saying in terms of, okay, there's gonna be people that wanna do deals later, two years down the road, next month, six months, that's gonna be a paycheck later on. Okay, that doesn't help us right now. However, 
when we're doing what we're supposed to do and we have faith in the process and we know closings happen every day and we're talking to enough people, we're going to find the people that want to do deals today. Don't just think that making the calls is only going to get you future business. It's going to get you right now business as well. And now you're building your business for now to pay your bills and the future to build your wealth all at the same time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what my philosophies and my coaching program is all about. If you're new to my channel and you're not part of the Zero to Diamond real estate coaching program, it's completely free. It's the first completely free real estate coaching program on the face of the planet. There's over 20,000 agents enrolled and so many of them are crushing it and they're doing this free of charge. And all I'm doing is just advising you on how I built my business over the last 17 years. I'm sharing that with you for nothing, and then you guys can take it and go do what you want with it. And so many agents, so many agents. I have an agent in Texas who found me in November, and he's closed a million a month, closed a million a month this year, every month. Okay, amazing. I have another agent in Mississippi, first year in real estate, for he just finished his first year in real estate, closed 106 deals following my program. So there's definitely a lot of success stories. Thank you guys so much for continuing to grind, continuing to push, continuing to message me, right, and tell me how it's working for you and questions. I answer every single DM on Instagram, so definitely hit me up there. Let me know what in the world I can do for you guys. Comment below and let me know what videos you want me to make, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go!